Oh, it looks like they're going to be adding a little bit more into that, but no, they're going to swap at the last second there from Gwen to the Trindamir. And we're seeing Trindamir kind of, we actually saw him yesterday as well. He's sneaking his way back up into priority right now. And I just wonder, yes, at level one, it looks like they're going to go for the, the Raptors instead. Yeah, this is really smart from Lian because you can hit level two of the Raptors, have an advantage. So that's why top esports. Mark flashes in, gets himself the handshake. We're going to see Lian flashing away. So does you, Yanja. But look at the spears coming in. Eye Boy gets first blood. That's huge there for the Kalista. Now, can he keep kiting? He does have flash available, does use his heal as the rest of top esports are here. Wayward is here. Wayward is not top side and now he has to start TPing because he's already losing not TN flashes forward to try and make this one work but the bandage toss kind of stops him in his tracks RA finding a great advantage and they're not Wait quite done yet as iBoy keep putting in the spears one more auto attack not quite able to get it he cancelled it oh no. just before the brush but it ends up going down it's really hard for iBoy to trade because a lot of iBoy's trade pattern is put the, mid, the spears into the minions Q on to Jack and uh, it's just going to be an unfun time for the fight we're going to have a flash into the handshake here as iBoy yeah he's dead there's nothing he can really do about that. He does use the heal but keeps his own flash. Yeah, back, but looks like they will listen to your words of wisdom. Dagden kind of say, look, we're not strong enough even close in this bot side. You don't quite have uh, the ultimate yet for them, but they are kind of pushing in. You can see for top esports in this bot side. Minute 20 till Dragon, 20 seconds or just a little bit over 10 seconds until the Rift Herald. This is where the game starts to get a little bit more sporadic, a little bit more about execution rather than anything else. Yeah, at least Leon did get to stop the back there for night, so they will be able to get that mid lane turret as Knight can't keep Rare Adam aren't taking the base. I mean, iBoy was very close to being caught out there. We will see now Wayward jumping in on top of Strife, and they will not land the Everfrost here, so it's a bad dive all of a sudden. They're taking a hell of a lot of damage. He's going to need three people to try and take him out. But he'll use the seismic shove and clear the wave. So now Mark's going to have to tank it up. He goes golden by even more time. And they're still trying to look for this one, but they can't. Strive now bringing a fourth member of Top Esports over to him. The Weaver's Wall. He didn't aim it correctly as the ultimate from the Vi ends up getting him down. It's a shutdown going over to Jackie Love as Jackie Love is getting massive. But look at the mid lane. They already had the Rift Tail picked up for Rare Adam. So they're getting the mid tower. They break a second. They get a charge onto this bot lane turret as well this. and look at the bot side cube as well also in a position to start taking more towers so massive win for rare adam off the back of strive taking so long to go down i mean strive did absolutely everything in his paris even didn't even use his flash he still has that available to him but it is going to be a trade-off of two towers if not three towers for Big one win for rare adam and as we can start to see like as this game goes on strive can again Moving. over but night may need to get out of here. Uh, no, he's going straight into danger because Knight likes to try and do things his way. He goes gold and that's going to break his stopwatch. He has got the Everfrost, but nowhere else to kind of use it. And that's going to be any kill being picked up here from Rare Adam. Really good opportunistic moment there to try and just make sure, look, they're not expecting us. They have no vision. We can make this work. Yeah, Knight just walking through. Ooh, hang on, Tien might be in trouble. Tien's in a lot of trouble. He's going to have the Weaver's Wall stopping him from going anywhere. This is fantastic from Rare Adam. Guess what? You don't have to deal. You don't have to fight him. And they just end up catching. Oh, hang on. We're still going here. No. Three B. What? They're going in. I boy's trying to run away from here. He's going to have to flash. Oh, no. Nice he has got the martial pose, so he's going to be at the behind. But yeah, they try and put three people topside. And again, we're going to see Q being on his own. Strive and Leanne. You just saw two people on this top side. You know they're going to be coming in on top of you here. This is a little bit of an overstep right now. And honestly, I'm not surprised you're going to be taken down here. This was unnecessary from RA after they've done so well. I was about to praise Rare Adam and say that was really smart play. You can see that this Nar is finally at a point of which he's very powerful and needs to be respected by the Trindomir, or sorry, by this, uh, yeah, by the Trindomir, but we've seen it now goes for a full engage. There's going to be the hostile takeover across pretty much everybody, and it's a great little move there, but look at Iboy kind of creating time here. The Fates Call will push him back onto Wayward as Cube is just going in to go down as Iboy trying to do his best, but he has to start running away because he's nowhere in a position to fight this, and this is what top esports do. You give them an inch, they and take the fight. It's very good at just pointing, clicking on for the He's uh, ball ball lady carries as well. And Tien going to be looking for that again. Yeah, here we go. He's going straight in. There's going to be the cease and assist. They get it in there with the whirling death. Tien trades his life, but I think Top Esports going to take that very, very kindly as they look to try and take down the rest of this one. It's a double kill coming in for Jackie Love as he's pushing down onto Iboy. One more auto attack will bring him down. And Knight makes one. Rare Adam, yes, they get themselves on the sole point, but you can just see how far and away this bot lane of Top Esports is. They're just running them down. Yeah, Tien's life for the Top Esports fire. That's exactly what they needed. Just an engage to get the party started. My they God. find one more, and the end is an unwelcome guest in Top Esports' new jungle. Yeah, Top Esports saying this is our land now. We got the deeds as Knight puts down 
some serious orders of re releasing that land to them, and that's going to be pushing in the mid lane, top lane, bot lane. They've got pretty much anything. You've got a rapid fire cannon here onto Jackie Love's uh, Draven. Like, he's going towards that infinity edge. He's going to be so huge. And even the stopwatch, in case, just by in some case. miracle, Rare Adam happened to get through <laughs> onto the back line, but I really just don't see it happening. 13 to 5, and 6,000 gold need opening up for themselves as well. They've already well, got. That's probably the best way I could put it. One fight led to a Baron, which led to another fight, which led to more towers, and you're basically pinned back up into your base here as Rare Adam. So, top esports just doing top esports things at 24 minutes. They're knocking on the door, Dagda. I mean, and you can't even contest this Rare Adam. The end is trying to reset. Ivoy is in mid lane trying to see if he can threaten the turf. And honestly, may actually be the best bet, but looks like he's maybe going to reset here as top esports. Yeah, but should be going to mini soon, so keeps himself safe. And it's just going to be easy for them to kind of walk forward with this one here. There it is. Yep, you pop down the ultimate there. Yuyanja gets taken over, goes a little bit berserk. You need to be careful here. You're going to be able to kind of get Knight over the wall, jumping onto lay end. They steal away the Curse of Savoni and top esports are just running them down. Oh, that's a great engage, though. It is indeed. They're going to try and make this one work. Yen has already fallen down. They're going to try and keep Eyeboy alive in this one here. He needs to reset, though. He's not got the greatest of health bars. Knight keeps the stolen Amumu ult. They do lose one for none. Yeah, unfortunately, the Berserk Engine. This is actually a great engage coming through from him. Like, hits all the targets that he needs to, but Eyeboy already half health. Then, dead. Yep, there it is. The Whirling Death comes out on the backside of that one. Jackie Love says thank you for the 606, and he's going to keep pushing forward because they know they've got the pressure. As Knight gets another solo kill in this game, he is just so damn good. 14 stacks on the Medjais, and he's stealing all of RA's souls. We all know Knight is an avid reader, and uh, those pages are definitely being filled very, very quickly as now Top Esports stand in front of the Nexus turrets, willing Rare Adam to come out. Yen, here you go. We're going to take away the Callista ultimate to throw you straight in. He immediately jumps in with the cease and assist. He's going to end up having to go down, though, for his dribble. He does have the bailout, so if they can get a kill, they can reset it, but they don't quite get it. You can see Cube trying to do something, but sadly, I'm going to call a spade a spade. This streamer has basically been nothing this entire game. Now the Nexus turrets are starting to fall. Top Esports, 28 minutes. They're going to be able to take down RA. RA, you tried, but sadly, the execution just wasn't with you. No, I mean, look, <laughs> top esports, we'll try to pad the stats here. The Nexus balls. And for Rare Adam, it felt like they had the tools that they needed to to try I mean, that we get for Cube. So definitely an interesting one for Cube. And it's kind of a pick that we've only really seen coming through from uh, 369, more so than anyone else. Yeah, well, 369 Krogs uh, taken by the Viego, and the Krogs take not taken, I was going to say Strife. Does dodge out one of the CCs, gets knocked back to TM, but might have to use his own flash here. He's taking very low, he doesn't. He is going to be hit here by Knight as Lian going to try and make himself known towards TN. They're going to steal away the Crescent Guard and try and trade this one back. Lian does end up getting the flash out of Stripe, but it's not enough this time around. And this bullying in the mid lane is blinders or blinkers <laughs> on them. Because like, a horse, that's the whole thing. The reason why you put blinkers on a horse in a horse racing thing is that they will get spooked by the other really? horse. Whip. Why would you throw that out there when you know the W is available for Gwen? As she becomes immune. Now the Rift Herald being taken down to about 1,000 HP. They're going to try and fully engage on top of this one here as Mark flashes away after going in straight away. There's going to be the Crescent Guard. They try and just create a zone around Knight. Knight still going strong though as you can see finally the Hemo Clay comes in as eventually the Vladimir has made his presence known but despite the low health bars from the side of top esports they're still looking good and they still take two kills. The Rift Herald does decent damage but it's just not relevant right now as we have Mark roaming up towards this mid lane as is TN. Oh Strife. Oh Strife. We salute you sir. We salute you. Oh, Danny boy, the, the pipes, the pipes are called. He was way ahead of us. Already top esports are oh, looking no. for more. They are looking for more. They're looking to try and make this one work. But the Crescent Guard comes in. There's a solar flare going to come out, but it's not really going to do much. And that's a little bit of a rare mistake there from the side of top esports. They thought they could force the issue, but Lien still on his incel. Still very powerful at the early stages. But we're going to go for another real fight coming out here as both Lynch Lockman's come out. They eventually get on top of him. That's two kills now over to Lien. It's Lien or Bust in this game right now as finally Strife gets gifted over a kill. They were so desperate to get him Picked back. and finish off here for Knight, so he's already got himself some pretty decent tank stats, but you got Tien roaming up here from the top side. You've got to be careful as Wayward here. He does have to use the needlework. Oh, Cube, he's confident. And this is the point I'm talking about. Level 9, you get that ult or full stacks on your Q, and you're just too hard to deal with. But now Cube, he's kind of caught between no man's land, and he's going to try and run away. He's looking to try and execute before Tien can get over to him. Should be able to do it, I think, maybe, unless... I think 
again. He's going to go wayward. There he goes. Yeah, he actually keeps himself alive for no. just a half a second, and that's going to mean the execute, so nobody gets the goal. Yeah, nicely done by Q. You be able to come into your team fight should you be able to go for it. And Leian starting up this Rift Herald and saying, look, we know we're more powerful. We're just going to trade down the bottom turret for this subject. But this is now what we're around this turret, or excuse me, around this mid lane and, and Dragon Pit. So. With both teams now posturing around it, the Weaver's Wall is going to be good here, and Mark's kind of caught by himself. He flashes away and uses the Blast Cone. To this dragon, despite it being so low, and that's going to be a full leash, you would imagine, going over to the side of top esports. Rare Adam, they're on a flank. Strife, though, in a lot of trouble. They're going to try and jump back on tonight, but there's a great Solar Flare to catch out the two members of Rare Adam. They lose the dragon, they lose the fight, and Dagda. You're a prophet because everything you said just happened. And that was the problem. They didn't need to try and take this fight. If you end up in a situation here as Rare Adam where, okay, we leave Cube on, Cube on top side, he keeps fighting against Wayward. The second top esports commit for the Dragon, you Rift Herald mid lane, you get mid lane off the charge, you reset back out towards this top side, you're going to be a fantastic spot. Now though, because they try and fight, they lose the top terror, they lose bot tier two, they've lost the Dragon, they've lost their mid lane, and suddenly- so wary of where and when they take fights because if they just go in willy nilly, Leyen could be in a lot of trouble, they're going to see the Solar Flare landing on top of him, and Tien takes up a kill. Honestly, they could turn for Baron right now, joining in the fray. Look at Gwen, very much far and away from this one that's put a 4v4. You don't it's have on. Leanne. The Dra Baron down to about a thousand. One more auto attack and a smite will do it as Cube tries to make something happen here. Jackie Love gets himself over the wall with the flash. The Hemo Blake does well, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. Knight is 1v4ing right now. Eventually will fall, but has he done the damage? Because here comes Wayward. He jumps on the stripe and forces out his flash as they're still pushing forward with this one. There's a kill for Jackie Love on top of I Boys. They're going to trade back one more kill. And look at Wayward. He's throwing in skill shots left, right, and center as they take down absolutely everybody one more Q should do it but he's not quite able to get it done and now you've actually lost four in the side of top the I boy already half HP he cannot step to this three item Ezreal anymore as Strife saying look 2v2 I can take this one here as Knight has already joined in they do have the needlework slowing people down but it's gonna be very difficult for them to really catch anybody out Q <laughs> is gonna be in a little bit of trouble as I say that though we are gonna see another fight coming in it's a 4v3 on the back side of this one here so is gonna be good as Jackie is putting out some decent consistent damage he flashes on top of him as Mark picks up the first kill of this fight. Now Cube trying to jump on top of the Ezreal and the Leona, but I'm not quite sure if he's going to be able to keep himself alive and say he's doing some pretty decent damage. On the other side of this one, though, he eventually goes down. Now you can see they're going to try and take them all out of top esports said, you got one fight, one fight is all you will get, and they will completely wipe the floor with the side of RA. You, yeah, you can even see there, standing there going, oh, I'm alive, before yeah. he decides to oh, walk thank out God. That one. But <laughs> He only gets to watch his base burn as top esports will now start to take the remaining outer towers, top, mid, and bot. We've we'll got this. I can take him out with two items and a shadow flame. It's huge, but it's not enough. You're looking at a three and a half item jack. Right. And again, look, it's not to be unexpected. Bye bye, I -boy. Yeah, I boy. Doesn't have flash, does have cleanse, but it's not going to do you any good. So uh, he's going to die there. Mark picking up his kill. Mark picking up a lot of kills, actually. I'm curious to see what his scoreline is once we come off of this uh, craft pick on the bottom of your screen. So we'll see what he's able to go. 2-2-12, two, two, and 12. so actually not as many kills as I thought. Just the last fight in that one. I mean, look, two kills for a support. We take that. Yeah, it is absolutely. desperate times. They he's require got the desperate He's actually patience. got the same kills and more assists than, uh, than Wayward does. As we can see, Wayward going ham in this top side, trying to see if we can take out the, uh, what was it, uh, Talia? And end up doing, getting rid of the stopwatch at least. And we come back to live and you yank just then. It's just that time to live board here for Rare Adam, top esports. Going to make this a 2-0 and oh, as everything starts to fall apart for Rare Adam. How do you try and mend the defense against the behemoth that is top esports? Top Esports again, like we said, it's starting to feel a lot like Summer 2020, and this team is really starting to come into its own. They are catapulting themselves towards playoffs. The Nexus is player, Doctor. I mean, he is a bit of a uh, beast in this, and we'll have to see if he can use it here. Here we go. We're going to see the Solar Flare coming out. They're going to try and jump on the TN. The man with the Mikhail's Blessing does end up getting out with his life, so now the real utility can come in. Knight is TP'd on the back side of this one. As you can see now, Stripe trying to deal with him and Cube, and it's a bit of a fight on two different fronts as Iboy gets jumped onto. Stripe gets taken down, as does Leyen. You can see Iboy trying to do his very best. Eventually, TN will fall. We salute you, Mikhail's Blessing, as you go up <laughs> to the Angels. But Cube is now on the wrong side of the rift. He's going to have the Sanguine Pool available to him and should Knight try to go for the full engage but yeah it's just going to delay the inevitable yeah Knight trying to convince Cube that he should read his good book and be a part of it as he will manage to get one more assist for his name Wayward will take that one 
And as we start to move towards the base, Top Esports take the 2-0 and against Rera. They'll take the 2-0, and and not only that, Dagda, they will secure their spot into playoffs. Ten wins and one loss means the Top Esports will be seeing you in the best of fives, regardless of what happens in the rest of the split. Welcome to playoffs, Top Esports. Rare Adam will try their best to hold on, but it will just not be enough. The Mikhail Blessing Viego just 